Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to play with my alcohol links and create a very easy background and then I'm going to turn it into three quick cards. So let's start. First of all, I'm working on Yupo paper. I like to get these in bulk and in big uh, sizes. I also have a few colors from uh, the Tim Holtz Alcohol Inks by Ranger. These come in a really huge uh, selection of colors, but I have picked up just a few. You really don't need everything. I'm also going to bring into the mix my alcohol blending solution. And I have picked three blue shades. You can see the colors on your screen. So I'm getting everything ready, I'm unscrewing the cups and I'm working on my glass mat. This is going to ensure that I will not make a mess all over the place since it is really easy to clean this glass mat. Now I'm going to apply first my blending solution directly on my Yupo paper. Now I'm going to apply my three colors. There is no rhyme or reasoning here, I'm just applying the three colors and I know that they are not going to create mud because they are uh, very close to each other. They are all shades of blue. I'm going to lift the paper and just move it and force these uh, alcohol inks to blend together. You can leave it as it is, it's going to dry nicely, it's going to give you a beautiful result. Or if you want to, you can use a straw. And this is exactly what I will do here. I'm just going to blow very lightly towards the edges, making sure that I don't move all the ink all the way to the edge. I like to have some uh, areas that are that uh, are going to stay white and you will see why later on. Now you have to excuse my crazy hair day. It was really difficult to blow over the paper without putting my head inside the camera view. Now alcohol inks are this type of uh, medium that uh, really evolves as time passes. So it is really difficult to control and the best thing you have to do is to just leave it alone, uh, go outside of the room and come back and see the results. Now just because I thought that it was too flat I decided to drop a couple of uh, drops of the darkest ink that I have here. Again I'm blowing and now I'm going to leave it to dry and I will come back later and cut out all the pieces that I need. So now as this piece was drying, I went ahead and played with even more alcohol ink since I had all the materials on my desk. So now I am playing with a few more colors. I'm not going to use these uh, uh, two backgrounds on this video, but I just wanted to show you the technique again, how quick and easy it is. Just make sure that you use colors that they are very close to the color wheel. This is really stress free. It's going to make sure that uh, it's going to give you beautiful results and always apply your uh, blending solution first. It's going to make things super easy. It gives that um, airy watercolor look, but uh, super easy and quick. You can see the colors that I used here on your screen. And I have here two more backgrounds ready to go for another card session. Now remember that there are many more ways to use alcohol links, but this is my most favorite and I find that I always like the results. And now let's go back to the first background that I have created with the blue shades. I'm going to create three cards and uh, I'm going to pair those backgrounds with a lovely stamp set that has just been released by Simon Says Stamp. This is called Under the Sea Animals. And uh, I'm going to use some of these uh, stamps to as the focal points for my cards. I'm going to use alcohol markers to color all the images, so I'm using an alcohol-friendly ink. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the backgrounds. I have cut out the Yupo paper with that blue background that I have created into pieces. All of them are four and a quarter by five and a half. And I made sure that in each one of those pieces I have uh, quite enough white space. I like the white space because it contrasts beautifully with the rest of the blue background and it makes it pop even more. Now I stamped uh, a bunch of uh, images but I ended up using the octopus, the fish and uh, the whale. I am using my alcohol markers, these are by Altenew, to color all the images and I'm making sure that I'm using uh, contrasting colors so that uh, all those images will stand out nicely on top of the blue background. 
So for the fish I used yellows and oranges, for the octopus I used pinks and purples, and for the whale I used uh, greens and yellows. Now it doesn't have to be realistic, this is just a card, so just go ahead and use any color that you like, as long as they contrast with the background. Now I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut this image. I'm cutting out exactly on the line so I don't get a white border around it. I don't know if there are actually matching uh, dies for this stamp set. If there are, I'm going to make sure to link them down below in case you want to check them out. Now I'm going to put my card together. I'm using some foam squares at the back of the fish and uh, at the back of my sentiment. Uh, off camera I prepared this sentiment. This, is, this says keep on swimming and it comes from the same stamp set. I just white embossed it on a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to stick this Yupo paper directly on top of a card base. And here I'm going to put together the rest of the cards so you can see all the backgrounds and how I made sure that as I cut them out I kept a piece of the background, of the blue background, as well as an area white. And I think this really makes a big difference. So for the whale I went with a sentiment that says see you later and uh, for the octopus I went with a sentiment that says let me know if you need a hand. I'm going to stick everything with foam squares at the back and my three cards are ready. I hope I have inspired you today to play with your alcohol inks, create beautiful and easy backgrounds that you can then turn into quick and easy cards. Here are some close-up photos of the cards that I made today. Don't forget that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day!